treasure. I need to find the treasure. She waved goodbye. I'm sure you will like it here. One, two. Here's the teacher. Hello, said Mrs. Harold. The teacher. Welcome to my class. We're scared, said the chickens. We don't know anyone. Don't worry, said Mrs. Harold. I'm sure you will make friends quickly. She seems like a nice bird. Can we make friends with anyone in the class? Asked the chickens. Miss Heron smiled. Of course you can, she said. During playtime, all the chickens could think about was making friends. Beaver's very big, they thought. It would be good to have her as a friend. So they walked up to Beaver and said hello. Shh, said Beaver. I'm trying to build this tower. Oh, that wasn't very nice. Hmm. Pretty tall tower. During story time, the chicken sat next to Rabbit. Rabbit looks very friendly, they thought. He would be a good friend. So they turned to Rabbit and said hello. Shh, said Rabbit. I'm listening to the story. Oh, I like to listen to stories, too. During music time, the chicken stood next to Frog. Frog is a little just like us, thought the chickens. Maybe he would be our friend. So the chickens turned to Frog and said, Hello! Shh! Said Frog. I'm trying to sing. La, 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 I can play the piano too. During snack time, the two little chickens sat all by themselves. No one wanted to make friends with us, they thought. Aww. Well, it's just the first day of class. First day of school, but you have to you have to be patient. How do you like school? asked Mrs. Heron. We can't make any friends, said the little chicken sadly. Uh oh. Just wait, said Miss Heron. I have a feeling you will. After everyone cleaned up, it was time to go outside. Come along, said Miss Heron. We'll go to the meadow. The whole class cheered. Yay! On the way, everyone crossed a little stream. Everyone except the little chickens. Uh -oh. They're going to be left behind. What's wrong? asked Miss Heron. We're too little, said the chickens. We might fall off the rocks and we can't swim. Don't be such chicken chickens, said Beaver. The water isn't very deep. You can do it. No, they said. We're just little chickens. I could 
could build a bridge over the water, said Beaver. I could leap across the stream, carrying the chicken, said Rabbit. I could teach the chickens how to swim, said Frog. Thank you all, said Miss Heron, but I have a better idea. Why don't you hold hands with the chickens and help them over the rock? So they all held hands and slowly crossed the stream. Bing, 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 bing. We did it, cried the little chickens. Thank you for helping us. Oh. The little chickens had a wonderful time playing in the meadow with their new friends. On the way back to school, the little chickens scampered across the rocks all by themselves. Hooray for the little chickens, everyone cried. They did it by themselves. Wow, oh, that's pretty good. Way to go, way to go. After school, Mother Hen was waiting. Goodness, she said, as the little chickens ran down the stairs. You both look very happy. We like school, they said. We made lots of friends. That's wonderful, said Mother Hen. As the little chickens headed home, they turned and waved. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Goodbye, friends, they called. See you tomorrow. How they did friends after all. Ha! I knew they would too. Didn't you? Yep. Thanks for watching friends. This is my little bit of treasure. Cause I love books. See you tomorrow friends. Bye. Keep on reading. wonder what's up next. Click on Tumsky to subscribe. Click on the next show you want to watch. Click on the bell for current updates. See you soon.